And we're back with more Kirby Superstar in this, the 16-bit summer. Spring Breeze went better than expected. A lot better than my first attempt at recording this, where I died about two or three times in that game. That very, very easy game. Cracko continues to be the bane of my existence. Just always. I hate you so much, Cracko. But yeah, last time, it went really well. Today, we're going to Dynablade. Oh boy. Dynablade. Dynablade is destroying all the crops. She must be stopped. Master the different abilities and defeat her. Well, we can't have that. I mean, we, we just got done, you know, ending the famine that DDD caused. And now we got Dynablade causing a famine? No, we can't have that. Also, who the hell is Dynablade? They, they, they just say that like you're supposed to know. But yeah, I mean, Dynablade is a bird. A bird is destroying the crops. We can't have that, stupid freaking bird. No, I don't want you to explain copy. You already did it and you're just gonna tell me anyway. Yes, thank you. I understand, I, I can actually skip that. I did not know that, okay, cool. Anyway, level one, let's do it. So colorful, so colorful. Oh, cut her right off the bat, okay, cool. Also, why is there a score for this? You don't really need a score for Kirby. Uh, Parasol. Parasol sucks. Unpopular opinion. Or that might be a popular opinion. I don't really know too many people that like Parasol all that much. I mean, yeah, it's effective for, uh, whatchamacallit, stopping things from landing on your head, thus giving Kirby a very bad concussion. But other than that, I don't really like it too much. Well, I mean, it, you know, it also has the Mary Poppins effect where it slows your descent. But Kirby can already sort of like slow his descent by just, you know, keeping air inside of him. Of course, if you release the air, you fall like a rock. But still, I mean, you know, it, Parasol, it's kind of pointless. In my opinion. Others might disagree. And that's fine. Everybody has different favorite abilities in Kirby. I want that life, though. So, Waddle do. I'm gonna need your assistance, by which I mean I'm going to eat you. Okay. Please destroy that. All right, I'm just gonna wait for Mr. Gordo there to pass on by. That Poppy bro, he had nothing to live for. So sad. So sad. Why would he just do that to himself? It's messed up, yo. Okay. But we're still going. Things are going pretty smoothly. I mean, I could be showing off the different descriptions for these weapons, but eh. Kind of in the zone right now. And by zone, I mean I'm just playing this casual first level of this little maxi game, so. Like, there's really not much I need to focus on. But up here, there is some invisibility candy. Oh, joy. Must. I want to destroy this first. There we go. All right. Before we run out, that did not blow up the thing that was right here. Oh, I was supposed to go all the way down with it and then. Eh, we got time. This isn't the hardest thing in the world. I am so sorry, Sir Kibble, that you tried to follow me. And you ended up taking unnecessary stupid damage all because of me. As I take unnecessary stupid damage right there. Okay. Please just die. Why do you take multiple hits? I want my enemies to die in a single hit. I'm that much of a filthy stick and casual. Alright, yeah, you need some health. Okay. You know, just healing a mama bird style. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. Oh, there was actually nothing down there. I thought there would have been a life at whatever. Oh, no, because that... No, I think that's always going to be open right there. Whatever. You need that a little more than me. You're just... Okay, fine. I'll, I'll heal you then. Lazy. And we are fighting... I forgot your exact name. I think you're Chef Kawasaki? Whatever. 
I like to show off the chef ability. And by chef, I mean cook. Sorry, I'm just trying to bring a little culture to this game. That's why I call him chef. When Kirby needs an energy boost, cook up some gourmet enemy soup. Cook is a one course meal. That means it's a one time use ability. So we got some enemies right here. They all look pretty yummy. Waddle do stop killing my enemies. Okay, fine. If there were more enemies, more of them would have gone into this here pot. I would have had some better healing items as opposed to two regular tomatoes. Am I a freaking homeless person just grabbing a tomato off the ground and eating it? Ugh. All right, I did not get the max. Oh well. At least I got a life. That's all that matters. I doubt I'll get a game over. Well, famous last words, you know, don't be cocky now. But all right, second level. Yeah, why not? Parasol actually took advantage over the wall. Oh my god, I hate Parasol so much. All right, so this is Parasol Kirby. Isn't it, it shouldn't even really be an, an ability. He's just grabbing an umbrella. Protect Kirby from enemies above. Splash drill and toss your enemies to the sky. A lot of possibilities with the Parasol. There's not too many possibilities with the Parasol. There just isn't. You can use it as a shield, though. I mean, so I guess that's good. Can't move with it though. But I mean, yeah, you have Parasol Shield, but also, I mean, with this Kirby game, you also have a regular shield. Okay, well, in this game, oh, not in this game, with this ability, yeah, he's actually using the Parasol as the shield, but if you don't have, well, like, if you have any other ability, Kirby just has like a standard, you know, defensive pose. I don't think I wanted to go in here just yet. And eh, whatever, okay. Mini boss time. One down. Many more to go. Waddle do, I will not let you die. See? Told you. Alright, let's go. Do I want what is down here? Probably. Okay, wow, I can't believe I lined that up. Alright. That is Ninja. All right, take my umbrella. I want a good ability. You did not take the umbrella, Waddle. I gave you a chance at life and you did not take it. That's what you do? That's how you handle my gift to you? Just rude. Oh wait, I can, I can finesse this. Okay. I have a Biospark helper, it's pretty great. That's a weird name for a ninja, but whatever. Ah. Never speak to me about this again. You know what? Screw you, helper. Only I get to be the ninja. If I can't be the ninja, nobody can. Plus, I just love the fact that Ninja Kirby can cling to the walls. It's so good. Might as well read the description. You know, I, I kind of missed a few of them, but whatever. Copy the famous Japanese ninja to hide in shadows and vanish into the darkness. Knife throw, quattro, shock attack, quattro. Yeah, okay. Dash attack, ninja kick, air drop. Stick to wall, hide defense, triangle, jump. That is a weird name for a wall jump. No, no, no. Wait. Eh, maybe it won't really work well right there, considering how close I am to a ceiling. But whatever, let's try. Oh, that's just a standard wall jump, isn't it? Okay, yeah, there's really nothing special about triangle jump then. That's... whatever. No! How dare you! I don't care! I will maintain... My ninja ability, I need beam for that. I can probably finesse my way to that with Mirror Kirby, but eh, it's not worth the effort, I think. I was so close to health right there. Tunnel vision. Oh no. Also, that was my first death. I feel kind of upset about that. Because this is still casual mode. 
I'm a horrible gamer. But I am now Mirror Kirby, so all is well. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna try. Might as well read the description. Reflect enemy attacks are full by creating the double image of Kirby. You got a mirror cut. You have reflect force. Mirror body. Reflect guard. Oh, let me see if I can finesse that. Because if you do that while an enemy's... A now attack. Come on. I'm not really doing it at the point of attack, but whatever. Ah. Okay, screw you. Screw you. I'm Mirror Kirby. I'm too fabulous for this, okay? Like, no. Just everything will die in my wake. In this slow-moving auto-scroller. Come on. I have nothing to be afraid of. Oh, we got a little sleeper right there. I'm not even going to worry about him. Okay. High intensity action. Okay. I think we're done here. Oh, wait, you're going to keep going? Oh, no. All right. Yeah, Warp Star. It wasn't even going to stop. It's going to try and kill me. What kind of chitlins was that? Oh, I could have had... I'm going to have double mirror. All the way across the sky. Okay, we're out. No! I want to be a wheel. I want to be a wheel right now. They are denying me my wheel power. Should I say wheel No, that, that's not even a pun. Okay, Samira, um, I appreciate the help, but... I want this. Thank you. Oh, might as well read this. Roll over your enemies, call a helper, and ride the wheel. Watch out for thorns and don't speed. But that's no fun. I like the speed. And this is all there is to it. You can turn, you can brake, and, you know, dash release. And you can ride on water. It's pretty great. All right, let's just destroy everything in our path. Okay, Ugh, no. Kind of screwed that up, but whatever. Let's go. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Gotta follow that rainbow as we fight bonkers on the ground. Okay, no, I, 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 I'm not even gonna continue that. Whatever, he's dead now. Do I want? Yeah, I'll take him. So I got a little wheelie friend. It's pretty great. I can ride him too. That's pretty amazing. Wheelie Rider. I love it. Do you get a little description? Yes. With a partner or alone, Wheelie Rider will be a great ride. When riding double, use teamwork to race past the bad guys. Yeah. Yeah. You can climb a ladder while riding the bike. That seems very unsafe. But still, yeah. All right, let's get off. Come on. No. Or I can just go through the door. Why not? Okay. Yeah, I'll heal him up a little. Why not? Even though he doesn't really need it. I need it more than him. Ooh, what does this mallet do? It only destroys the tower. Let's just check the rubble. Inside we got a three up. And by three up, I mean three individual lives. All right, let's get the max one here. Ooh, is that close enough? Come on, that has to count. That does not count. Wow. I was like, what? One centimeter away? Anyway, onward to the next one. Eh, yeah, I'll take you. If you don't die before. So now we are Fighter Kirby. Copy the abilities of Fighter and assume the role of a mighty karate expert. Increase your power with practice. Strength of attack depends on how long you press Y. You got a Vulcan jab, you got a smash, punch, leg sweep, spin kick, down kick, double kick, rising break. And you can also grab enemies. You have a Tomo throw. Tomo throw? Okay. So yeah. It's pretty good. I am holding... 
Whatever. Well, you also have the little Shoryuken. Uh, no, I don't really want to ride you right now. Uh, I gotta get used to these mechanics. I'm so used to fighter and other Kirby games. Whatever. We'll manage. Oh, that would have given me plasma. Ooh, that kind of destroyed me. Yeah, come on. Let's go. Practice makes perfect, though. I have to get better. Wait. Wow. Okay, this is not going well. Please don't die here, me. That would be... Not good. That would be very not good. Yeah, I don't need that life. I got 10, okay? It's not worth the effort. Thank you, Wheelie. Even though we kind of wasted that Maxim tomato. Get out of my... Just get out of the way. I am getting wrecked. That's not a good look. Ooh, okay, Spikes. That's definitely not a good look. Wheelie, take the lead, please. Even though you're kind of not suited for this. Oh, no, no, no. Kirby is not a fan of gaps. That would have been very bad. Screw it. So now I have Knuckle Joe helping me out as I am now Stone Kirby. I am now invincible. And I'm going to use gravity to do my dirty work. Actually, I want to go in there first. There might be something good. Also, transform Kirby into various stone figures and smash the enemies. That's all there is to it. Oh, you can... Turbo Stone was in this? It's funny, when I first was practicing with this, I... Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm not really doing Turbo Stone. I have, like, no momentum with that. Like, that's supposed to be, like, you turn into a stone and you slide into your enemies, but... Yeah, there's, like, no momentum. Whatever. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. Whatever. I ain't even mad. I got ten more lives. I'm good. Well, I mean, I got ten lives now because I, you know, kind of took advantage of a life that was in there, but whatever. Screw you. Yeah, you're cool enough. I'll take you. I am now Yo-Yo Kirby. I have been made into a Yo-Yo Man. You'll see awesome Yo-Yo to defeat your enemies in style. Yeah, those are all the attacks. Pretty great. Gazer special. Down up. Why? We're facing right. That doesn't seem all special. Eh. Around the world, okay. Eh. No, that's... Oh, okay, there we go. That, that looks special. All right, I don't really see how useful that's going to be unless an enemy is directly on top of me, if I were fighting Krako, per se. But, eh, it looks cool. I guess that's all that matters. I'm just going to run past literally everything here. Wait, no. I have yo powers. That This is not working out. There we go. Okay. Oh, I didn't know he does a little... Does the little does the little break dance dash attack. I love it. All right, take me away. How convenient. Take me away. Okay, that 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 was totally useful. Take me away. Okay, these are getting less and less amazing. Like uh, wow. Okay, good. Okay, I'm gonna stop being lazy and just use my actual feet to progress. And onward we go. I'd rather keep my yo-yo abilities. Personal preference. Ooh. Okay. Come on. Please hurry up and die. I'm just going to stand here and spam that. Oh, I could have used the special. Whatever. Come on, Gim. 
That's a weird name. But I am now Suplex Kirby. I'm about to be on my Brock Lesnar grind and take all of them to Suplex City on the next stage, because, you know, we're kind of at the goal here. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. The tension. Just barely. Got a three up. It's pretty great. Also, we got an enemy on the map. They're closing in on me. Should I fight them? Yeah, I'm good. You can fight like a mini boss to get a different ability. Not really worth it. Oh, might as well read the description. Capture enemies and use the buttons to perform various pro wrestling techniques to defeat them. So, yeah, it's just a matter of which direction you press after capturing an enemy. So pinpoint, twice quickly, quick stamping. Ooh. I like that, actually. Yeah, backbreaker, body slam, pile driver, and German suplex. Backbreakers, body slams, and pile drivers are not suplexes. I'm just saying. So this should be called Pro Wrestler Kirby, then, and not Suplex Kirby. Actually. All right. A pile driver is the furthest thing from a suplex. Whatever. Lariat, that's not even a pile driver. You're just striking them with your forearm. Jumping body slam. Whatever, whatever. I'm, I'm, my, my wrestling nerd is coming out, and that's, that's not good. All right, just get out of here. Get wrecked. Get stomped. I am the Brock Lesnar of Dreamland. Suplex City Snitch. I thought that was invincibility candy. It was just the regular variety. I feel gypped. Let's just get out of here, Gim. Instead of Gim, right? Yes, okay, good. Forgot who I had with me for a second. Oh. Yeah, it's probably just some lives and health down there. We'll be good. Maybe. Hopefully. How dare you. Just fall on me like that. That's not good. It's not good at all. Hammer, Kirby. No. Why be a hammer when I can just continue being freaking Taz, okay? And I'm not talking about the Looney Tunes character. I'm talking about the pro wrestler that was really big in ECW, but not so much in uh, the WWE. That I could have had invincibility. Oh, well. Just get out of my sight. All of you. Just... I really wanted to suplex one of them, Gim, to add, like, a nice exclamation to my insane ramblings. But your help is appreciated. I can't stay mad at you forever. Even though you're about to get wrecked by a freaking bird. What up with that? You ugly frog. Okay. Anything over... Yeah. Not really. Okay. I think there might be some health down there. Okay, you know what? Let, let's just get out of here before I die. That... No. Oh, I inhaled the wrong thing, but whatever. It's been taken care of. Okay. I cannot lose this ability. All just all destroying that does is just, you know, filling this whole area with water, and that makes the fish a little more deadly. Did I actually get hit? Thought I grabbed him. Whatever. Okay. I don't want to get rid of this, but I must. Thank you, Gim. Okay, I got Bugsy following me. It's pretty great. But I'm now Fire Kirby. This is just, you know, a standard ability. Wow, they don't even... <laughs> you don't even get flavor text. Use Dash and Y to hurl burning fireballs. You can light fuse this candle as even yourself to become a mega powerful weapon. That's all there is to it. It's just... You can aim the fire, too. I mean, that's cool. No! Oh, right. Come with me, Bugsy. You got wings. You can fly up here. There we go. We got some nice goodies up here. What's the point of having two Maxim Tomatoes if one completely heals you? What's the point of having all these healing items anyway? What you need is just a life and a Maxim Tomato. Like, I'm just trying to make this as efficient as possible. 
What have I done? Okay. Let's try to be careful about this. Oh no. Tack. I believe that's the name anyway. Tack is a thief like enemy. And it will actually steal your ability. And that's. No. No. That's my helper. No. How dare you. No, Bugsy. <laughs> well, I chose a pretty unfortunate place to throw that ability. Oh well, sorry, Bugsy. You will never be forgotten. Oh, okay. So I, I now have the copy copy ability. Copy enemies' abilities without fighting. The helper will also be able to use, uh, copy abilities. So, yeah, you can just analyze enemies. That's all there is to it. Hmm. What do I want to copy? Nothing because I just touched lava. Okay, fair enough. Well, not lava, just the lava rock. Oh. Fine. I'll just be Mike Kirby. Then, when Kirby sings, everybody plugs their ears. You're able to use the mic three times. First time, it's a megaphone. Second time, it's a desk mic. Last time, it's a stand mic. Noise blaster kills enemies around you. That's all it is. It's just a standard destroy everything in the immediate vicinity ability. Pretty good ability, if I do say so myself. Observe. So useful. So useful. But I'm going to save it for something even more useful. Actually, I'm about to be smart about this. Oh, I can't make a helper out of this? Oh, well. Never mind, then. Try to be smart about it. Yeah, I'll just grab that. I don't need you, stone. Hello, and goodbye. Oh, you're a little... Okay, yeah, you're, you're tenacious, aren't you? Well, then, how about this? All right. I am now Ice Kirby. I can now skate. It's pretty great. Turn Kirby into the Iceman and turn the enemies into frozen blocks of ice. Don't slip. Yeah, standard attacks. You can freeze things and then use them as projectiles. That's really useful, actually. Bonkers. I'm going to be, like, very careful against you. Wow, your projectiles are... Not projectiles, but, like... Your things don't really stay on the screen for too long. Well, the stars, at least. Gonna throw something at me, dog. Wow, you are not really following your pattern. There we go. Eh, whatever, just die. There. Come with me, Chili. Break through solid obstacles and pound instincts to take Kirby to an area. Yep, that's all there is to it. Also, this is like one of the most powerful attacks in the game. The hammer flip. There we go. And, nope. Wow. It's like he's actually using AI to dodge my attacks. That made no sense. Using AI to dodge my attack. Well, I mean, that can make sense. But I mean, uh, whatever, let's not dwell on that. Let's just beat this. Come on. Goal time. I mean, I got one at least once throughout this, so I mean, you know, if I get a one again, that's just gravy. Oh my god, I got it. I'm so proud. All right. So I have 18 lives to beat the final boss. Can I do it? I think I can. Let us go. Dinoblade, how dare you destroy the crops. My people are starving. You are about to get wrecked so hard. You'll, you'll still get wrecked, but not as hard. Because a Bonkers and Sword Kirby combo would have just been insane. But Burning Leo and Sword, I, I guess that's 
fine as well, but ugh. The king of weapons fire beams from the tip of your sword. Become a master by practicing multi-sword attacks. You can chop, chop and beam, repeatedly multi-sword attacks, or stab, and down air stab. Yes, you are essentially Link from Legend of Zelda. Okay. We can do this. Dino Blade is not too hard. Just would have preferred having a bonkers with me, but hey, you know, you can't always get what you want. God, I love that little animation. Alright, so we're fighting a giant bird. I'm not a big fan of birds, just saying. Oh, God. Wow, contact damage is a thing. I am not really doing too much to ugh, dodge your attacks. At least I didn't get grabbed. Dino Blade's grab attack is like ridiculously overpowered and long. So yeah, we beat Dino Blade. The people of Dreamway can eat again. Oh no, we just killed a mother. Kirby, how how could you do that? And now he's kidnapping them. And he's taking them to Wispy. Why are you taking them to Wispy? What's Wispy going to do? Just stare at them and then start crying? Because a slight breeze hurt him? Oh, Kirby, you're feeding baby birds apples. I don't think that's good food. And, oh, he's teaching them how to fly. Kirby's their mother now because he kind of brutally murdered the one they had. Oh, no, there she is. I guess she was nursed back to health at the bird hospital as Kirby, you know, took on the role of dad bird. That's admirable. That's admirable. Because, yeah, Kirby, you know, he kind of did the wrong thing. You know, Dinah Blade, maybe she was just trying to gather crops so her children could eat. And wasn't thinking about the citizens of Dreamland. But you know what? All is well that ends well, even though it clearly says to be continued. But whatever. We're done here. We got a little extra time as we unlock Revenge of Meta Knight. But we're not going there just yet. We're going to Gourmet Race. Let us begin. Kirby versus Deity in Gourmet Race. Race through Gourmet World to the finish, gobbling up all the tasty treats you can find. No promises if I'll be able to do, like, really well on this. I don't know, like, this is a lot easier for me on Ultra than it is on the standard. Oh, there's a opening cutscene for this? Were there opening cutscenes for the other two as well? If you just stay on the start? Huh. Okay, well, let's just watch this. Okay. <laughs> that happened. No, I'm just... No. Go back. Please, how do, how do I exit? Oh, my God. Never mind, then. Let's just skip the tutorial, and they're just gonna, you know, teach me anyway. Beat King DDD to the goal. Collect points by eating as much food as you can. That's all there is to it. It's just a race as you collect as much food as possible. Did I actually start before the countdown ended? I am such a cheater. Okay. We must hurry. We must race the battle of the greedy. I would do really well in such a race in real life. Also, maximum tomatoes are worth more points. It's in your best interest to grab them. And there we go. Wow, I kind of dusted them. So that was track one. And now, track two. Once again, I think I started before the countdown ended. I regret nothing. No! High intensity... Food, eating, action. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I'm kind of dusting them again. It's pretty amazing. No. Must. Wow, he got that maximum tomato. But I will not give up. Must run. Must eat as much as possible. This is the race of kings of Gourmet Kings. I am just obliterating him point-wise. I cannot be stopped. My stomach knows no limit. I should not have done that. Just get out of here. I don't want a copyability for this. 
although I am not as familiar with this track as I am with the other ones, or whatever, I let him clear a little path for me. Um, yeah, down. I actually could have used that time to grab that Maxim Tomato, but whatever. I am just not doing too hot right now. He might actually beat me on this track. Oh, grab that though. I won't even be mad at him if he does. Uh, who am I kidding? I, I I will be mad at him. Come on. I have no clue where I'm going. Just follow where there's no food. Because he kind of has it on lock right now. Alright, run! Ah, he beat me. So close. Lost a little time there. It wasn't too bad of a loss, though. But in the end, it's all about the totals. And I beat him by 58 food. Truly, yeah, I am the greedier competitor. It's amazing. I am a winner. I have the bigger stomach. I also need to get it pumped because, ooh, I do not recommend that. Okay, seriously, how do I get out of here? That is not, okay, fine, you know what? It, it. We're just gonna reset. Thank you. But real quick, and yeah, we got three stars now. Just three to go. And these, well, the last three things that'll get us those stars are Great Cave Offensive, Revenge of Men, and I Milky Way Wishes. But real quick, I wanted to see if staying on the main screen nets you little, like, intro cutscenes for these. Just gonna wait here and sit for a second. Wow, okay. Were these just... Automatic in, uh, Ultra, then? Okay, wow, that was totally necessary. All right, just, oh, you could actually just exit that normally. You can learn something from that gourmet race. You can definitely learn something from that. All right, and then what I'm sure will be a spring breeze cutscene. You can also... Huh, you can choose which stage you want to continue on. Okay. Not like you'd be on a spring breeze for anything more than like 10 or 15 minutes. Well, I guess if you're trying to explore everything, there's trouble in Dreamland. King DDD and his soldiers have stolen all the food in Dreamland. That monster here comes our hero Kirby riding in on the spring breeze. Let the adventure begin. Not the most thrilling story, but hey, it gets the point across. All right, so we're done for today. Next time, we're gonna go to the Great Cave Offensive. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and see you next time for some more Kirby Superstar in this, the 16-bit summer. Goodbye.